Hey guys, it's La Baguette, the game here. Welcome to a new video guide featuring the Ox Clan. The Ox Clan is one of those clans that are very powerful late game but takes time to build up. It gets easily countered by Lion and Dragon though. I personally think that the Ox Clan needs some conditions to be picked in team games. The best conditions would be to have a good early and clearing clan like Eagle, Wolf or Lynx and a good support clan like Goat. Because by the time you get to 20 population, the fists provided by the Goat will make the transition to late game way faster. In this video, I'll be playing against AI with a bear friend clearing for me. The first year is all about basic needs, with wood as a primary focus, and then food. Obviously, you'll need to scout a little bit depending on your clearing partner and the connection tile, so he can come faster. You'll need to have two woodcutters ready fast and a third a bit later. You will also get expansion lore later, so no need to colonize more than two times before that. Before winter, you'll need to have a dock, three woodcutters and as much food building as you can. Why? Because Ox has a bonus production on specialized units, so the more you have, the more you will scale. Once you have expansion lore, colonize every food tile you can. At least two stone tiles and your iron tile. The first winter is pretty easy as you don't have a lot of population yet. The next winter is the pain point. After winter, your basic needs are fulfilled and you now need to focus on scaling crowns. First because you need to buy Torfin, but also because you are going to upgrade a lot of camps and create a lot of units. So build a second dock and improve all the tiles that are producing something. This will provide one more slot to the tile which will be used for war camps but also reduce the upkeep, so more crowns. And finally it will also improve the tile production a bit. Now the crowns need to be your main focus, uh, that will depend on how many beaches you have. If you have three beaches, you can have three docks and upgrade only one or two. If you have two bitches, create two docks and upgrade both. If you have only one bitch, go for the merchant route. Create one dock, one trade center and one market on the main tile and upgrade the trade center. Start mining the iron and the stones. If your food is okay, you can have three miners permanently and have all the mining done before the next winter. But that depends on how good your map is, the fist you get, and how fast you've been in the first year. Ox is one of the rare clans for which you'll need a brewery. Try to build it once you hit 12 population. You will be okay until you reach 20. With the first 20 stones, 
upgrade the town hall, obviously, and then the dock or the trade center. With the five uh, first iron, upgrade the tools of your crown producer, so sailors or, or merchants, depending on the map. Build a war camp to unlock the warrior weapon and upgrade it. Once upgraded, you can destroy the forge. You also should be at around 20 population and struggling in happiness. That is why I always upgrade a house at this point for a plus one happiness. Also, feasting now is the best timing for you. As soon as you have 250 crowns, get Torfin. Now, for the last part, use Torfin to kill some units and get the Legion military path unlocked. That will reduce the cost of your war cramps. You can also build a healing camp for obvious reasons. After that, build a war camp on every tile and upgrade it when you have the resources. The more camps you upgrade, the more powerful your army will be. Depending on your teammates' performance, leaving you a stone tile or a scouting for you, feasting, etc. You should be able to upgrade at least four camps. And by mid-802, you should be able to create 10 soldiers, and even more, later that year. You can create 4 or 5 soldiers during this year and roam the map to kill neutrals and harass the enemy. These 5 units will also increase your economy by 5%, giving you another boost on crown production.
considering Ox is a late game clan, you should be the one announcing when to attack, because you will be the last one ready. But the sooner you can attack, the better. Ox is so good late game that you can send a 14 troop wave without having to recall your sailors and still be producing crowns while fighting. If you have spare stone, upgrade a food building for better sustainability and more camps for more impact. Attacking at 1500 military XP is better as your troops can easily reach a total attack power of 20. Now, I will end the video now. There is no point in showing you how to crush an AI. And I thank you for watching and see you on the next video.